I wish we focused on telling more original story. To tell a story uh, more honestly and more fearlessly, I think we'll create more memorable cinema. I like to obsessively read negative things because I'm <laughs> like that. But I really dislike comparisons. Uh, I think it's very unfair. Hi, this is Dulkar Salman. My name is Shreya Dhanwantri and you're watching us on Filmy Beat. Hi guys, welcome to Filmy Beat. There you uh, go. There you go. <laughs> Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, the trailer is amazing. So what kind of response you guys are getting? Because this is something unique and out of the box. So. Uh, so this is the first time that a lot of my friends and a lot of my friends are from outside of the film industry. So my family and my friends and a lot of people who haven't spoken to me in years have reached out to tell me that the trailer is amazing, which I think is, uh, it's, it's I think noise, like people from outside the industry, I think that noise is a true measure of genuine interest and curiosity in the audience. So I'm, I'm, I'm kicked, I'm pretty kicked. Uh, it's been uh, awesome actually, it's been amazing just to see so much excitement and so much discussion happening. Uh, and I think everybody is really appreciating the fact that this is so authentic, it's so uh, new in terms of an idea. I am somebody who listens to scripts in multiple languages and uh, across the board I have not heard something like Joe. So uh, I think in, in presenting something new and like you said out of the box, uh, I think Joe uh, will be a fresh new experience. So really looking forward to the feedback after they watch the film. So yes. It's excitement right now. Okay, um, Unforgettable. I think uh, I've been a fan of both of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, no matter what, I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years or something. Uh, and uh, I'll still be uh, the same person I was before I became an actor. And these are all people whose films I watched uh, on the big screen in theatres. Um, before being an actor, before even younger than that, and uh, so it's a pinch myself moment uh, to be in the same sort of shooting location or in the same frame, and being directed by Balki sir on one side, and then like sharing screen space with uh, you know Sunny sir on one side. And I'm like, this is actually happening. <laughs> it's like that, but I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, it's been just just wonderful to work with them, and they're really amazing people. You know, you would want to be friends with them. You would want to uh, sit down and spend time with them and hang with them. You know, they they are fun, intelligent, talented people. Yeah, no, no, no. It's all of that multiplied by a billion. <laughs> <laughs> because no, for me, I mean, I've seen his work as well. So he's he and Pooja and everyone. I like I can't believe my name's on here and this is my film and I'm talking to you guys about my film. Seeing seeing that sentence itself gives me like the, <laughs> oh come on, it's it's the best feeling. I mean. The fact that I once dreamed of being in films and that I'm in here is is amazing. So uh, since we know, like, trailer, like we have seen, 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 like we discussed this in the last time, but I wish we focused on telling more original stories. I think right now, I mean, our focus is going to be in the remakes, in the remakes, without like saying anything properly. I am not a huge fan of... Without stirring any controversial pot. Any pot of any size. But it's just that I am a fan of always finding out something new, finding out something true. And if you are telling you, in your opinion, in your opinion, in your opinion, in your truth, you are showing it, you are showing it, I think it's always beautiful to see that. Rather than, not that I am saying that some of the re-imaginations have not been fun, but me personally, I don't enjoy remakes as much as I enjoy seeing something original. Even if I don't enjoy it, I appreciate it. I think, speaking about somebody like Guru Dutt Sahib, I think he was a genuine, artist who uh, wanted to tell these beautiful stories and uh, he put all of his heart and soul into telling these stories and not really thought about how the film will perform or what critics would say or what the audience would say and I think when you create art like that is when uh, you know, genuine uh, unforgettable like timeless films happen and uh, I think maybe 
that's what we miss today mm. i think when now we we tend to sort of um, engineer film we we are engineering uh, cinema we like hey you know we need a song here that's a great one we need this yeah. intro here and we need to um, the audience will clap here and you know they need a, a climactic high point mm -hmm. and they need to leave on a high like so we almost uh, Yeah, I just, only word is great it's, word. it's engineer. It's a great word. Yeah. Uh, but I think if you were to tell a story uh, more honestly and more fearlessly, I think we'll create more memorable cinema. Exactly, and then talking about the reviews, uh, recently when Dudgar आपने कहा था कि negative reviews काफी आपको मिल चुके हैं, मिल चुके हैं आपको मिलते हैं ना, so does that really affect your body? Hey, Bhagwan, Dudgar. What do you have to say? It definitely bothers me, uh, but I don't know if it affects. me when i perform like when i'm performing uh, i'm not thinking are yaar like if uh, this scene if i do this wo ye likhenge that doesn't happen mm -hmm. but uh, and we put a lot of effort into our films uh, any of us not, not just actors and there is always 200 people on set who's working 10 times harder than us actors mm. uh, so so many people have put so much effort into it so when when a film comes out yes like if you dismiss a film <coughs> or uh, you Uh, you uh, write off a film with one word or something I, it bothers me because there's so much effort that went behind it mm. uh, and i like to obsessively read negative things because <laughs> i'm like that and uh, you know it's like you see uh, an accident on the road and you have to keep looking at oh it oh my god yeah. you read that i'm that person <laughs> well, because i i i fish out the worst um, <laughs> but no i but i do take there's always some good takeaways from it uh, it gives me sort of courage to uh, take risks because uh, if you tell me i can't do this or i'm terrible at this then i want to do it uh, then i want to prove to not to you but to myself mm. that i can do it uh, so there's good and bad from it um, but yeah i think i think but some sensitivity would be good like instead of personal attacks instead of um, dismissing a film if you were to uh, be considerate you, know, you can like or dislike that's fine but you know tell us what worked for you i love i love when people use the phrase this worked for me and this didn't work for me it's it's uh, it's not unpleasant it's nice it's a easy sort of soft way to say things uh, and this goes for any kind of criticism and i also think cinema is the easiest art form to criticize because uh, it's so easy to consume <laughs> you know we're providing you everything you just sit there there's sounds visuals and all of this and it's not like looking at a painting and being like it's not that books and stuff yeah, yeah. Exactly, and then uh, lastly, uh, no, I am jinxed, huh? And then now I feel like now I steadily get only bad reviews when I come nah. back. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> next time I'll come, I'm like, yeah, very yeah. depressed. Me, chali gayi me. Really, 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 really grateful for the love uh, i love reading all of it and more than what you the love that you i get i think when a film or a performance gives people joy like uh, when people love the film and they the film becomes personal to them and they take the film home that is more rewarding i think uh, then i'm not somebody who focuses on praise that i get uh, like i said i focus on the negative <laughs> uh, but it's very special to me when a film um, you know is taken by the audience it belongs to them it's personal to them and they'll always keep it in their hearts for those are really rare to get very hard to find and i'm yeah utterly grateful for that what do you want to say no well, it's absolutely the same i mean it it's very moving when an audience connects with something that you're a part of whether it's family man whether it's mumbai diaries or scam i mean i get messages from this is very this is actually a very humbling surprising moment for me but i get a lot of messages from actors when after they saw the julia monologue in loop lapeta mm -hmm. the maximum number of like words of appreciation or the, any sort of like a reaction that i got were from people from the industry from your peers from my colleagues and that's so yeah it is it is when people i mean you don't you think people are always looking at you in a critical manner so when people reach out and they actually say something it's, it's really it's moving it really is also also do you care lastly i would like to know when people compare cinema any kind of <laughs> cinema whether bollywood hollywood or you know tollywood 
So, do you feel that this is the right way to judge any medium with comparing both the platforms, whether Bollywood or with Hollywood or Bollywood with Hollywood? I personally, it's a hard word. I really dislike comparisons. Uh, I think it's very unfair because uh, it's never apples to apples. Uh, there's so many different factors that come into play. You cannot compare to industries, you cannot compare to films, you cannot compare to performances. Uh, it makes no sense because none of these were conceived or made at the same time. Uh, all of these things happen at different times and uh, uh, all of these, even if you take to performances, you now at the end of the day, every actor is going to play his role. You know, we're not competing with each other. I'm not going to be like, I have to be better than Shreya in the scene. No, I have to do what my character is going to do. She's going to do what her character is going to do. If the writing is, uh, you know, uh, uh, warrants something where we as a viewer uh, sympathize or like one character more than the other, it doesn't mean that somebody else's performance is bad. Similarly, for industries, uh, we all go through ups and downs. Every actor goes through ups and downs. Every career, every industry also goes through ups and downs. It doesn't mean one is better than the other. Uh, it just means that you're seeing them in different phases of their life. So I don't agree with comparisons at all. Okay, uh, lastly, message for fans. We love you and we love you for all the love you've given us and for always um, giving us the strength to try new things. So we've tried something very new here. Please show Chuk. some extra love. So uh, go check it out. and uh, On 23rd September. Yeah, you will love it I think. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> <laughs>